Okay, this is the uh, final fourth part of my uh, Windows 8 update uh, issues, and hopefully this will help other people. Uh, we did a lot of research and just a lot of internet searching and finally found something that worked for me. Hopefully it'll just works for everybody. Uh, I found this on someone uh, in a, uh, I believe it was a Windows community uh, support thread. Someone mentioned it. I thought it was counterintuitive because why should you use this uh, solution when you just installed the operating system and you have nothing else installed? But uh, for some reason, it it worked. So uh, let me show you here. Uh, as I said in my other videos, that I tried different things with uh, manual install, downloading of the uh, packages for the patches especially like uh, this one here, KB2768703 uh, was having issues and um, even the manual install did not work. So uh, what you can do is if you're uh, let's go to the start main start menu if you're not if you haven't changed the UI on this which you can uh, download other things to uh, change your UI but if you still have the the regular Windows 8 you can just go to the uh, Windows key to bring this up here and uh, you can just start typing refresh ref come on oops I think I hit my enter key accidentally there let me go back okay this is not what I wanted okay so I wanted to start typing ref refresh and it should be in here in the settings. And click on refresh your PC. And what you would do is just walk you know, walk yourself through the uh, uh, setup for the refreshing your PC. It'll come up saying uh, what things will be done. It's going a little slow here since I'm using screen region, uh, using XSplit to record this. I had some issues trying to get MSI, MSI Afterburner to do it. it. caused all three of my monitors to go black and and uh, I had to do a control delete and and uh, try to stop it. I also tried using uh, DxTory and uh, that made it split into a bunch of files and I had some errors with that as well. Here it's going a little slow for some reason, a lot slower than it should. Uh, let me try. Oh, down here. Seems like it's a little bit on the large side. It should be. I'm using this in VMware Player as well. Let me open that up here. Refresh your PC. Let's see if I can get, get down there. right on the edge there and I don't know what's going on there it's turned black and it didn't do that last time could be a problem with the screen region uh, but anyway uh, let me just oh there it goes what will happen is it'll come up it'll tell you what will be done uh, it's it, with less hassle if you're just installing Windows 8 um, you would just want to do this at the beginning uh, let me go back pressing the Windows key and uh, it'll take uh, probably about as long as it uh, did to install Windows 8 it'll basically go through the similar screens and um, it'll uh, leave a uh, HTML web page uh, on your desktop showing you the uh, uh, things that were uh, removed. Um, all I had were um, uh, Windows, or not Windows, um, VMware player tools installed. Uh, when you are going through the uh, uh, process to try to uh, get those updates installed, a lot of suggestions were to do a clean boot which you would go to uh, as I showed in previous videos MS config 
and then uh, uncheck all Microsoft services and uh, disable any startup uh, programs and then you would uh, click OK restart uh, and then uh, well, I, I did that as well as uh, doing the refresh I did the uh, everything was disabled as for the clean uh, boot and then did the refresh and when it came back up everything was fine I was able to install uh, all of the uh, update packages and I think my screen region is really messing up because it's I'm not able to get back to the desktop here Oh, there we go it's going really slow so uh, everything was fine on that I wanted to show what uh, was going on is this my desktop or is it? oh there we go I don't know what it was doing there so like I said you can go to MS config you can if you're at the uh, desktop here uh, Windows R brings up uh, the run command and I already typed MS config uh, you would open that up and then um, go to the services tab hide all Microsoft services uncheck anything in here and then you would go to the startup open task manager and you would disable everything here and then you would uh, click OK and uh, probably have to restart your computer for that and let's go to uh, let's see I thought I had the let's see the um, control panel Windows update I already put that pin that to the start there probably shouldn't have anything to update here I did a recent update that only had a Windows Defender yeah there's nothing available so everything was installed and hopefully doing the refresh for you helps and I don't know if you'll still need to do that for any other updates that come up hopefully the updates that install um, cured everything for the future Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in uh, my streaming and recordings of my games and anything else I do there, uh, I will probably add more than just games to my channels on YouTube. If you want to see my streaming of the games, you can go to twitch.tv. That's www.twitch.tv forward slash itpaladin. I-T-P-A-L-D-I-N. Excuse me, I-T-P-A-L-A-D-I-N. You can uh, sign up there and uh, choose to follow me there so you get notified by email of when I do streams. As of right now, I do not have a set time to do streams. But generally, it would be in the uh, late afternoon or early evening, uh, Monday through Friday, and various times on the weekend.